Hello YouTube! It's been a few days since my last video, six to be exact. I'm now back in my student house in Loughton, which is why I have these awful curtains behind me rather than my nice ones back at home. One of my New Year's resolutions was to make a video every week, so I've been busy editing to try and get this out before midnight. Now there's an awful lot of footage, so rather than being just the one video, this will be the first part in a two or possibly three part special on Goody Two Shoes The Panto. I hope you enjoy it. Roll tip! Hey mate, this is the video I told you about that I've just made. Oh, it's not about that pantomime you've been going on about, is it? It's not my cup of tea. No, 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 this is something completely different, nothing to do with the pantomime. <sighs> Alright, what is it? First of all, what is a pantomime? What is a pantomime? Bing! Pantomime, or panto, is a form of theatre that's very popular in the UK and several of the Commonwealth countries. Though Wikipedia informs me that it's not very popular in America, where the word pantomime generally refers to mime. Pantomimes are a family musical of sorts, very popular around Christmas time. They're incredibly formulaic. Uh, and though the plot may change in the story, the characters are often incredibly similar. A lot like a Richard Curtis movie. Yeah mate, I would come out, but uh, the girlfriend's making me stay in and watch a Richard Curtis movie. No, it's the one with Hugh Grant in? No, no, not that one. No, he plays this, uh, this charming but awkward English guy that's trying to get a girl. No, no, not that one. He's like, he's like really awkward, he's like charming, charming in English, but he's really awkward. No, no, not that one either. There's the principal boy and the principal girl. Now, one of these two characters will play the lead, such as Aladdin or Cinderella, or in this case, Goody Two-Shoes. The other will play the love interest, such as Prince Charming, Princess Jasmine, or in this case, Simon. And I swear like the shadow that's by your side I'll be there For better or worse Until death do us part I'll love you in every beat <laughs> of my heart And I... No pantomime would be complete without a pantomime dame. Pantomime dames are almost exclusively played by a man in drag and are often portrayed as a poor widow and the mother of the lead. Goody! Are you here, Goody? Goody! Goody! Oh, oh Teddy Cuddle, what do you think you're playing at? You're frightening me to death! My whole life flashed before my eyes! For 21 years, miss. Who knows what fiends frolic in this foul and forbidding foliage? Did you say that again, Mum? But look, that look, not with these things. We should introduce ourselves. My name is Molly Coddle. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm a poor widow. Ah. Oh, even more poor than that. Ah. Ah. I've got a daughter as well. Her name's Good. 
<coughs> have you seen her? Yes. yes. You have? Yeah. Right, well, you're good. She hasn't been on stage yet. <laughs> So, Richard, um, yes. how long have you been a Pantomime Day? Pantomime Day. This would be my second year as a Pantomime Day. Yes. And um, had you, have you always experimented with transvestitism? Certainly have. I think the first time was when I was about four. Um, I, I wore one of my mother's dresses. Um, unfortunately, that was also the day I was sent home from school. Right. Yes. I can imagine. Did it, has it affected you mentally, do you think? No, emotionally? absolutely not. <laughs> I'm in complete control of my emotions. I'm scared. I'm putrefying. Yes, I do. It's very embarrassing. It's your age. Oh, no, not that. I sing. That's a good idea, Teddy Love. Let's give it a go. Whenever I feel afraid, I hold my head erect and whistle a happy tune, so no one can suspect I'm afraid. Watch you leaving in my shoes, I strike the careless pose, and whistle a happy tune, so no one ever knows I'm afraid. Make believe you're brave, and the trick will take you far. You may be as brave as make believe you are. You may be as brave as make believe you are. Every pantomime needs a villain, whether it be Captain Hook in Peter Pan or Abanaza in Aladdin. In Goody Two Shoes, the villain takes the form of the wonderfully wicked sorceress Septica. You've been wasting my slave's time. Yeah. Well, beware, you pathetic moron! I am Septica the sorceress, the queen. Leave me to fear in my slave's plans. I'll tell you all it's a crying world. <laughs> Septica, how are you feeling? I'm feeling rather good, thank you very much. Rather good. I think I'm going to miss this hair, though. You miss the hair? Well, I've, I've now become practised at brushing my hair. It's a skill that is... It does, it does suit you. Thank you, darling. It is lovely. Lovely, and that, and that green really brings out your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Septica's one of triplets, you know. Oh, really? Yes. Erotica, who's, she's a bit of a tear away. All right. And uh, chlamydia, she's an infectious little thing. Oh, lovely. Oh. Oh, I'd love to meet them one day. Mm. Well, you know what they say about Septica? Mm. Once you've gone green, you don't go back, you know? Oh, indeed. I said gone green, not gangrene. <laughs> Which is coming up, puss. <laughs> Another must-have for any panto is the lovable, but rather stupid, psychic who often follows the dame around. This was played in Goody Two Shoes by Jamie Ingram. Uh, so totally what? Yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy today's? <laughs> okay. The matinee. Enjoy the matinee. The matinee. The first matinee was okay. Why just okay, Jamie? Why just okay? <laughs> because we had a three-day break. So today was refreshing. Oh, Will you stop yeah. harassing him, please? Well, I'm not. I'm not yeah, touching yeah. him. I bet you are questioning. You're, you're, sorry. You're this is violating. The, I, should I should. I should explain. Jamie is is oh, only 14, the lad of 14, like 12. <laughs> and so this means that we have to have a chaperone who, who stops us from touching him inappropriately. Dave, she can't right, really. here's, here's, here's an example. Dave, Dave, try and touch him inappropriately. I'm sorry guys, I couldn't let you see that. It was just far too graphic. The good news is that Dave is on the mend. He's developed a slight phobia of knitting, but he should pull through. Well, that's all I've got time for in this first part of the Goody Two Shoes Pantomime Special. But the next video should be up soon, in which I'll have more on-stage footage, backstage goings-on, and I'll be introducing you to a very important member of the cast. Meet Cam Cat. Meow.